I can't tell you. College football news coming at you. The preseason uh, Big Ten champion prediction by this station was the defending Big Ten champions, the Michigan Wolverines and the Fighting Jim Harbaugh's, did indeed knock down and take down for the second consecutive year. For the first time since 1996, 1997, the Fighting Jim Harbaugh's and Wolverines beat the criminal gangsters and Ryan Day uh, twice in a row. They take him down for the first time in 22 years after Drew Henson uh, back in the day took down John Cooper and got him fired. J.J. McCarthy goes into Columbus with two running backs, one on crunches, essentially, the other one with a broken thumb, and he starts throwing dimes to Cornelius Johnson. Then he throws a dime to Loveland, the freshman tight end. And then the running back with a broken thumb comes in in the second half, takes 11 carries for 215 yards, pulling out his inner Al Bundy, and the fighting Jim Harbaugh's and Wolverines are going to win the Big Ten Championship again as they knock down the criminal gangsters and put a thorn into the side of their arch enemy in Columbus, and they take him down for an epic victory of the ages where a massive underdog goes in and wipes the floor with the second-ranked team in the nation, and it was a great thing to see, and we're going to sing a little happy to the victor. I can't tell you how proud I am. Smell good. You know, it's such a great character bunch. It's I knew they couldn't stop us. It was our turn to win. And those that thought we were done after last week, forget about Michigan and all the churches and You got, we deserve like, every bit of this. Like every bit of it. Yeah. And I'm so happy Man for you. I'm happy for you. Yeah. 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 True sophomore out of LaGrange Park, Illinois, J.J. McCarthy showed why he is the man. You can see on a third and critical eight, he throws it out to the left sideline to Cornelius Johnson, who spins around the defender, high stops it inside to 35, and then uses his speed, gets into the end zone for a Michigan touchdown, I believe 75 yards to tie the game early on in the shoe. The fighting Jim Harbaugh's continue to attack and the true sophomore on his next possession, the next play, his next throw, takes a first and 10 on a beautiful little play action, steps up into the pocket and fires a pass on a double move down to Cornelius Johnson, who's open up to 30, makes the catch, and he's going to walk his way into the end zone for a second consecutive Michigan Wolverine touchdown. And that was an 85-yard grab, and it cracked the hearts and broke the spirit of the Ohio State University as they come back on their next possession and throw a strike to maybe the best wide receiver in the country. Marvin Harrison Jr. and C.J. Stroud tried to make a comeback. But this true sophomore, J.J. McCarthy, steps up into the pocket and throws a strike down to a reaching uh, love. The true freshman making a huge catch in the shoe and about a 45-yard touchdown to extend the Michigan lead as the fighting Jim Harbaugh's are pulling a little trickery here by the four-string running back throwing it through an injured scooter maker. And then a couple of plays later, the hardened uh, J.J. McCarthy scores his fourth touchdown, pulling his inner Al Bundy as the Ohio State University started the shutter, started the whimper middle, powers it up the middle on the left side to take the lead and an 11 point lead that essentially ended the game when Donovan Edwards cuts back to the right, puts it up down the right sideline, high steps over a defender and he's going to go all the way for a Michigan touchdown. And Donovan Edwards can, would continue to run all the way to Indianapolis as we're going back and the fighting Wolverines and hopping Jim Harbaugh's are going back to Indianapolis for the second straight year after pulling off one of the biggest upsets in recent memory over the Ohio State University and that vaunted passing attack. 
those wide receivers, Marvin Harrison Jr. and Dake Abuke that I've had to hear so much about and the rest of the college football world had to hear about. But for the second year in a row, Donovan Edwards and AJ Blake Ford are truly sophomore JJ McCarthy and the rest of us uh, Cornelius Johnson. Uh, I believe a junior are going to walk their yards. way and drive their way and Watch run their way in Edwards' case all the way to Indianapolis Johnson, and another big time championship on their way Ransom. to another invitation to the show as they're going back to back to the show and this time they're going to take down TCU in round one of the playoff as we're going to go out a victor we're going to go out champions this season as the bobbling Wolverines and fighting Jim Harbaugh's and that master plan of Jim Harbaugh's boring offense and running the football and pounding it up the middle paid off today as the Ohio State University and that offense and that running game and that defensive line could not hold up to a physical powerful dominant athletic speedy Wolverine team and Jim Harbaugh has solidified himself as the best coach in the Big Ten now currently and one of the best programs in the country as he all he does is play top 10 top five teams beat them beating his rivals now he's taking the Big Ten on notice and he's going all out with this team that he's got going for that first elusive national championship since the Charles Woodson and Brian Greasy and Ty Streaks and Chris Floyds and Chris Howards and Anthony Thomases of the world we're walking through that tunnel. The Wolverines have a chance to do something they haven't done in a very long time after their most convincing win since the 1997 National Championship season against Ohio State. The most convincing win in 23 seasons for the Fighting Wolverines and bobbling Jim Harbaugh's as they've worked their way in to the best team in college football or the top two teams in college football. Peace and love to this happy update.